Hey guys, we're back some more Divas of Creation. Right now, guys, there are a bunch of new codes, and I can't wait to share all those new codes with you guys if you haven't used them yet. It's actually been two days since I've last played the game, so I'm so excited to be back on it. In this video, we're just gonna progress through the story, do a couple of miscellaneous things, and, and maybe even in the process, actually get the story side of the game finally fully done. But yeah, if you guys want another Divas Creation video, drop 500 likes on this one, and I got you guys ASAP. Without further ado, let's dive right into this. All right, man. Look, I'm a little, I'm a little sad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little sad. I hate to start off the video on this type of feeling. But brother, they literally had double XP for an entire day. And it just so happened to be the day that I didn't play the game. So I, I, I'm, I'm very salty. For those of you that took advantage, fair play. I've seen a couple people actually be level 60 now in the game. But listen, remember in the last video, we got stuck on this boss fight and I literally, I gave up. Well, I'm here to show you guys that you can cheese this boss if you have a bow or if you are a magician like myself and you can use your um well i mean you'll see god damn it you want to get on top of this real quick shout out to my stream chat by the way because the stream chat especially specifically my boy what the hell <laughs> i messed that up but yeah shout out to my boy uh tariq or warik as i like to call him because he told me about this spot and literally as you guys can see you can snipe the ogre boss over here and um these guys are not gonna be able to attack you off in the distance and literally oh is he getting his hp back now oh don't tell me they just nerfed this i'm gonna try this again a little closer because he is replenishing his hp for some reason i don't know if they nerfed this the only problem with me being in in, in uh this spot right here is that these guys are gonna attack me like the ogre shamans as you guys can see and they can hurt me yeah i think they just patched this that is so odd well so much for showing you guys that trick all right so here is zodin unfortunately since we can't cheese out the boss uh we're gonna have to do this i don't know why they keep patching stuff that is like it's not groundbreaking you know what i mean like why patch that it's just a farm method right but anyway we're gonna go ahead and buy double x well actually let me let me use the codes right let's use the codes before we do anything else okay so this one was released prior to the double xp event maybe you guys already used it but oh it's already expired okay wow amazing this one is newer and that one works so be sure to use it you get a bunch of rewards as you guys can see next up we have doc 80k likes huh oh i had a space in okay there you go it works now <laughs> so use that for some potions and stuff and the last code is divas discord 175k there you go use that for these other rewards over here as well so unfortunately those are all the new codes i thought we would have gotten like a double xp or something you know packed in there but i guess not i'm gonna go ahead and buy this double xp so we can get some more xps uh i also wanted to mention that the reason why i wanted to start off the video at the boss is because i was actually gonna stay grinding at the boss with double xp because the boss gives you 5,000 xp without double xp 10,000 xp with double xp so you were able to level up your like pets extremely fast by grinding on the boss and using the method i was going to showcase to you guys to cheese it but now you can't so it is what it is so then i've acquired the glimmer shade ha huh. you've done what was necessary yet the victory is bittersweet blood has been spilled such is the burden of your fate uh, what, are you, what are you talking about what about my fate yes from the beginning i suspected you who could unite the Astra artifacts might be the one foretold in a rare prophecy. Okay, what rare prophecy? A prophecy known but a few, about one sent by the Divas to bring balance and peace back to our world. I believe you are that one. Okay, could these artifacts restore my memory? It's uncertain. The path of destiny is often murky, but one, I mean, not but one, but in seeking the artifacts, you might find the answers you seek. All right, thank you, brother. All right, so I gotta go back to talk to Muriel now. All right, Muriel, I am here. I brought the Glimmer Shade. Look at you, dragging in here with the prize. Did you sweet talk a tree into giving it up? Or was it something else more dramatic? All right, whatever. I mean, th th I hate this lady low-key. I'm not gonna lie. Muriel could go like... I'm not even gonna say it, but uh, a tail worthy of uh, ballad, I say, bro. You know what? Actually, I don't really care no more. Anyway, we got that done. I don't, I don't really care about Miro's dialogue, but we gotta go uh, ask about April and Veritas now. I, I really, man, I swear, if I could just. Ah! All right, guys, we're inside the bar here. Let's talk to uh, Dina. I'm looking for someone named April. Have you seen her? April? Oh, the archaeologist who looks like she's been mud wrestling with history books? Yep, she dusted off there recently. I mean, through here, excuse me, oh my god. Do you know where she went? Finding out about her latest haunt could take a bit. I could help, but I need something first. 
You gotta look for someone who can handle a bit of adventure. Okay, what, what do you need? I, I can handle the adventure. For my special brew, I need skitter blood. Oh my god, more skitters, bro? Ah. Oh. All right, so we'll literally have to go back to the Skitter's nested village and kill those bastards off. So I'll catch you guys when I have that done. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Actually, never mind. This might take a little bit of time, not extremely long, but I just realized that we got to kill uh, Skitter generals and Skitter soldiers. So it's not as simple as just like one mob type. And aside from that, it's, it's 20 and 25, bro. Like that's going to take us a hot minute. Like I know I can literally just like do this and kill them all off, but still, man. Also, this is the really annoying part of grinding uh, with pets in this game because I literally have to make sure that I hop off of my horse and like let this thing go on cooldown so I can summon this damn bird and then use my ability so I can get XP's for him. And he's literally at 98%, so I'm getting 5% because I was at 93%. 5% XP gains, brother. It's gonna take forever to get this thing to level 10. Oh my days. All right, guys, this should uh, not kill the skitter. What the hell? Bro, is that a spider? Okay, that's a very huge spider. I don't know when the hell that thing spawned there or if it's gonna be a tough kill, but huh. It, uh, it, it definitely is gonna be a tough kill. All right. Well, let's just try not to get hit by it and we'll see how it goes. Let's activate my turret. I mean, I will say this thing misses like literally every attack it does. Oh, it's level <gasps> Bro, this thing is level 53. Oh nah, it doesn't matter if I, I it doesn't matter if I have to retry this like 50 times. Or maybe it does matter. Yeah. Yeah. Gang gets back his HP. Okay. Alright. Um, let's try this out. Let's hit him there and let's see if we can cheese it by literally double jumping on top of this rock. Can you imagine he, he's not able to hit us? And he is able to hit us. <laughs> All right, so we know he's able to hit us, but what about if I double jump on the rock and I get like behind this corn? All uh, right, never mind. Okay, look, I think I found the way to cheese is over. So hopefully he doesn't despawn, but over here we have some rocks. So I have higher advantage, my brother. No, no, brother, brother, no, 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 come back. Okay, actually, I was running. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, of course, of course. All right, so we're back at the uh, bartender. Let's talk to her and tell her that we got what she needed. Watch us tell us, uh, hey, uh, I, I got something else actually. Like, come on, bro. Show you, man. So I've been a gold digger. I got the ingredients. Let's have a look then. Ah, perfect. These will look nice. Then. You've got a knack for this, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a knack for a lot of things. <laughs> All right, did you find out where April is? All oh, right, your historian. Word is she's been poking around the Umbrellish Rebels camp. Okay, where's that camp at? They're a group that rebelled against Umbr Okay, I don't really care. Where's the camp at? All right, whatever. I don't know. All right. Um, she didn't tell us, but it is marked on our map. So let's open up our map. And that is literally. Ooh, this is near the um the Elderwood uh, crossroads waypoint or waystone or whatever so i'm just gonna teleport there yeah all right here we go we're in the elderwood crossroads and uh yeah that guy literally is on the waypoint or that woman excuse me. so there's april what's up shorty how you doing remarkable i think someone actually on the path to uncovering that wait oh so it's just saying someone's actually on the path to uncover the astral artifacts we might just make a good team in searching for the echo quartz the hell is that, bro? Is that another uh, artifact now? Anyway, why are you interested in the Echo Quartz? It's not the Echo Quartz itself I'm after, but what it can reveal about the Eternal Tree, a mystery as old as the lands themselves. So what's the Eternal Tree? An ancient sacred tree, believed to have been here since the Diva's time. It's said to hold profound secrets. Okay, it asked about the prophecy. I've come across such tales. But everything is in, in its time. Help me learn more about the eternal tree and I'll share what I know about the prophecy. Okay, where do we start? The challenge lies ahead. The eternal tree stands within the heart of the Umbral of Rebels camp, a place I can't easily enter. Okay, I got it. You gotta tell me twice. Okay, you gotta investigate the eternal tree. Where the hell is it? Oh, okay, where is it? Oh, it's, it's over here. <laughs> Yo, I'm blind as hell. All right, Um, cool. Let's make our way over there and we'll see what's popping. I gotta tell you guys, this area is so annoying. These NPCs keep popping up out of the freaking bushes and hitting me off of my horse, gang. Like I'm telling you, 
really annoying area. And I hate fighting these type of NPCs too because look, 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 another one just came up at the Woolworths. Because they literally block your attacks and it's frustrating. All right, guys, we've made it inside of this like clan area. Um, like I said, I don't like this area at all. And is this a new type of tree? What type of tree is this? A celestial. Oh. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the tree name because I I've always struggled with pronouncing that name in RPG games. Like I don't, bro. I, I'm trying to tell you this area is the death of me, bro. This area is so trash. <laughs> Yo, like archers shoot me off of my horse. Mages do this ability. Like uh, this area, gang. Bro, look, and they literally like they just come up out of nowhere and attack you. Like where the hell did this archer come from all of a sudden? Anyway, I can chop down this tree, so I might as well do it. I don't know what we need this this type of tree for, but hey, we got some celestial essence there. Watch, 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 watch. Look, look at the archer, right? Watch. You see? Yo, this area, bro. I'm about to pop a vein. All right, so here's the tree. Seeker, your heart bears no malice. Why have you come to this sanctum? And I'm about to lose my mind because this damn low HP sound effect in this game, bro. Like I and I got how oh, I just need to grind for some. Uh, health potions but i uh, all right anyway whatever i'm not gonna get into it uh, i'm searching for answers about the astral artifacts the artifacts pieces of a bygone era scattered by the divas in their final act of hope you tread on a path both bright and dark can you guide me guidance is not mine to give but to awaken within you the first key lies within unity bond that was severed heal what was wounded what the hell are you talking about are you high <laughs> <laughs> you imagine she's actually high. all right anyway uh look at those who move in the shadows of disdain those cast aside bring together the divided blah 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 okay whatever dude i don't really care no more i, I lost i lost faith brother i lost hope i gotta return in april oh my god bro if they tell me i gotta come back to this goddamn tree area again bro so actually i just realized we got some hp potions let me actually use these instead uh from the codes that we got earlier in the video and i don't know when i got an epic bow but hey i got an epic bow baby yeah dude this uncommon potion is not even a potion to heal you it's it's, it's an elixir for uh shields <laughs> what the hell i cannot win I cannot win. All I do is struggle, struggle, struggle. All right, April. I have one minute left of my double XP. So here, uh, the tree spoke to me. It did. That's incredible. So legends were true. What legends? The one speaking of the prophecy. What did the tree tell you? Blah blah. blah. The tree. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just don't don't want to waste my one minute of double XP. This is a lot of text. So we got to talk to Morris now. Who the hell is Morris? Oh. This guy's near the the skitter's nested village again it's a good thing that the story quest actually took us to this area because i think i want to stay here until i can finally max out this flying mount because like if i had a flying mount i wouldn't like need to like teleport every time to the base area to teleport to another area you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just try to max out this flying mount and um get that done but Boy, oh boy, I've never more truly understood the frustration a lot of people have with this game's grind for um, evolving your mounts. I don't I don't even know why that's the thing, to be honest with you. I feel like if you spin for a mount and you get it, you should just be able to mount it and that's it. Like grinding for this shouldn't that, uh, be that annoying, in my opinion. All right, Morris, what's up, brother? Uh, Professor Morris, I need to speak to you about something important. Hush now. Can't you hear? The whispers of nature, the tales of the wind. First we listen, then we speak. I'm here because dot dot dot. Ah, young seeker, patience. There's a story I wish to share, one that predates us both. What story? See those standing rocks over there? Ancient, aren't they? As ancient as the world itself, each holding secrets. So how do we uncover the secrets? Ah, that involves a riddle, a challenge from the past. The rocks, they're not mere stones, but sentinels. Guardians of knowledge, the riddle goes. Six sentinels stand their orders key. Read the land, read is the free, or whatever, the secret's free. First beneath a tree where cool shadows fall, second circled by a, uh, by a bushy array standing tall. Third looms large, the tallest of the band. Fourth stands apart on its own stretch of land. Oh, fourth stands apart on its own stretch of land. Uh, okay, I, I, I think I understand. This is basically, oh wait, never mind. Fifth, by the water where the ripples meet the shore. Six, crooked by the, uh, crooked and proud character in its core. Touch them as told, let the adventurer unfurl, awake the sentinels, watch the mystery swirl. What the hell is that even supposed? 
okay what the hell first neath a tree where cool shadows fall dude this is hidden i gotta actually look for this huh all right so i had to search this up but apparently this quest is just you literally going up to these rocks <laughs> like that's literally it so i think the first one might be this one because it's underneath the tree so touch the rock a gentle pulse blah, blah blah there you go um a bushy array standing tall i don't know maybe maybe it's this never mind it's not that one okay it was actually this one all right there you go um th the second one is this one next to these guys next to morris himself third uh looms large the tallest of the band um i mean that one seems like the tallest one to be honest watch it not be this one again i'm gonna be so mad bro i got damn it it isn't oh third one is actually uh the to the right of the last rock okay uh four stands apart in its own stretch of land uh, gang, i don't know i'm gonna just keep going in the damn circle okay that does not work is it is it this one no it isn't so wow all of a sudden now i think the one that i kept going back to right to the left of morris over here this is actually gonna be the one man what the hell it is all right whatever cool we got that done fifth by the water where the ripples uh meet the shore gang i don't know is, is it it's probably this one right because the water is like right there it is all right uh six crooked and proud character in his core blah, blah blah cool got that done all right wow magnificent all right this guy says you did spend uh, splendidly my dear hey, brother, yo, what the you're a man why are you calling me my dear okay anyway the rock sang with an energy they haven't shown in years oh <laughs> imagine this guy's like and the last rock is between my legs <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest rock of them all. Hey! All right, anyway, uh, why couldn't you activate them yourself, bro? Oh, it seems they were waiting to, uh, for a touch different from mine. Uh -huh. Bro! Yo, I'm trying to tell you this guy is sus, bro. He says perhaps one more attuned to the current times. Uh, did activating them change anything? Indeed it did. Observe this orb. It's now full of nature's energy. Your actions have imbued it with power. But tell me, what brings you to this old professor? Okay, blah, blah. Fascinating. The eternal tree com uh, itself communicated with you? That's quite the rare occurrence. So what's significant about that? The eternal tree is enigma, or is an enigma. Many have tried to decipher its mysteries, all without success. Yet there you are, or here you are, having made a connection. Okay, can you help me? I have an idea um, that might do the trick. However, it requires charging three more or Okay, whatever, dude. We got it. Come on. Come on, bro. All right, we literally just gotta hunt wasps and lizardmen now. So, <sighs> luckily, it's all right next to us. I'll just let you guys know when I'm done with this all. I'm actually gonna have to buy more double XP. Oh, fantastic, bro. This is literally my gaming experience when I play this game. And actually, uh, we did get some more season pass stuff done. There you go. You know, I've, I've been doing this quest, and now that I think about it, um, this entire time, I think I've been handling things wrongly, if you will. Or in the incorrect in the incorrect manner excuse me because the thing is as a mage we have the celestial stuff i think i might actually oh i don't think yeah i don't have the celestial stuff on me but i think i'm gonna start carrying one oh my god i can't close this um dude because the thing is the celestial stuff heals you so i really don't have a reason to carry health potions if i just carry a celestial staff with me and equip it and use my ability whenever i need it you know all right guys this should be the last batch of uh npcs or mobs that i gotta kill over here man this quest has been very annoying um because you have to run this quest in rotation because there's not a lot of these guys that spawn in uh and why why did this guy survive my attack i don't understand um so yeah it, it takes a bit and uh lo and behold my my bird is still only level six i i went ahead and started grinding on some of these uh other general uh fiends that are in this location to no avail because like i said uh man's is still low level i really don't i really don't understand bro i don't understand why leveling up your mount is, is so dang difficult you would expect against level 40 mobs it wouldn't be or level 30 something mobs but whatever anyway uh, the orb is charged. Ah, back safe and sound, I see. Excellent work. And it just so happens I discovered a way to charge your next orb. What needs to be done? This orb is charged by bringing together those who have been unwillingly separated. In the depths of the forest, the feral fiends hold sway over the sinister compound. Blah, blah. Okay. I got it. I already know what I gotta do. All right, lit. So I gotta 
make my way in here. But before I do, it's grind time, baby, huh? Dog, you gotta be kidding me. It's at 99%. I couldn't even get the level from the for the bird. <laughs> ah, this goddamn bird is gonna make me go crazy, man. All right, guys, so here's the little girl, Emma. Uh, are you all right? I'm scared. I wanna go back to my family. I'm here to save you, man. Or, or well, girl. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I think... Oh, never mind. We gotta search nest for... Uh, or, well, the nest around here for materials to aid for her wound. Okay, so I thought we were gonna have to escort her because that was gonna be a very annoying mission over here. But, I mean, we'll just... We'll see. I didn't find anything here. Yeah, we'll just see which one of these nests is actually gonna have the item that she needs. Okay, so we found a bandage in one of these nests here. Um, literally, it's it's the first one uh, before you make your way into like this little valley area where she's at. All right, found the bandage. She says, okay, but please be careful, it hurts. Shut up, you don't shut up. All right, the bleeding stop, thank you. Let's get out of here. Wait, my herbs, the fiends took them from, oh my God, bro. Now she's gonna make me kill them, I guarantee. Oh my God. Ah. Questing in this stretch of the game has, has, has not been so fun as far as like this, again, portion of the game story. Okay guys, uh, I'm almost level eight on my um, falcon bird guy thing. Dude, grinding this pet is, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm, I'm trying my best not to show it on video, but this is driving me insane. I'm genuinely cursing at my monitor, slamming my desk, because grinding in this area is really annoying, but it's the only viable area to level it up decently fast. And it's just like, man, the more I grind, the more I'm like, why? Like, why did it have to be this way, bro? But anyways, Emma, let's turn this in. I found herbs. You did? Oh, thank you so much. This means everything to me. We still need to get out safely. I can't run very well. Oh my God. Yo, watch it be an escort mission. And it is. I swear to God, this game is doing everything it can this video to annoy me. And you guys know, I literally glazed this game beyond belief every video. But today, I've been playing this game for two hours. Two hours, bro. And it's because I, oh man, man I'm not even gonna get into it, man. All right, I'm gonna get this done. Maybe, hopefully, I, I don't know, we'll see. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, the girl is safe, Morris. Wonderful news. Ah, the orbs go. It's fully charged. Your actions have indeed made a difference. Okay, it seems so. Now for the final task. The orb known as the trial by combat requires you to face and best a formidable foe in single combat. Uh, okay, who? Not someone specific, but rather a worthy opponent. This is a journey you must navigate on your own. I can offer no further guidance. Okay, so I gotta return to April now. What the hell? All right, well, I, I mean, I guess I, I'm, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna grind some more because uh, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can finally get this to level 10. My dear God, bro, two hours of playing this game and I, I, I feel like I've made zero progress. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me, let me, uh, yeah, let's go back to the hometown first. All right, April, what's up, shorty? I returned and I found Morris. Wonderful. Any news? I mean, and what news did you bring? All right, whatever. That's promising. While you were away, I managed to gather more intel about the Umbral of Rebels camp and their leader, Rocco. Oh, boy. If this is another boss that I can't do single-handedly, I... Okay, whatever. We'll see. Rocco is a reverend, Obro, whatever, warrior, commanding deep respect. Ah, but this might be the opportunity we need if you can defeat him. What do you mean? Defeating Rocco with his legendary status could be the key to changing or charging the final orb. Okay. All right. Mm. Uh, actually, this guy is hidden, so I don't know where the location for him is going to be on the map, but uh, I'm going to get to grinding, so let me go buy some potions. I'll let you guys when I'm, I mean, let you guys know when I'm done grinding and whatnot. Oh my god, look what I'm talking. Bro, to craft a potion, and I'm sorry I'm complaining so much, but to craft a potion, look at all the materials that you need for an epic potion, right? That's literally the only thing that will heal us a sufficient amount, because this is what... <laughs> you can buy from the shop and it's still like even the the rare potions require a lot of different materials as you guys can tell like ah you smells brother like what in the world is going on bro i don't know at this rate i don't know if they're if they're even gonna adjust this because like they haven't said anything about it they haven't done anything about it just yet even though everybody complains about it but 
Um, yeah, guys, my only option is to buy them. And like I said, it's 1600 essence for a rare potion that literally takes 20 seconds to heal us for 700 health. Oh my God, guys, 50 million years later. And here we go. <laughs> wow, finally, brother. This thing's actually not that fast, but at least we're flying, right? My days, man. I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete the sub quest that I have on us right now so that I could get uh, one more level. I'll be level 46, but I've, I've been playing the game for uh, close to three hours, guys, with double XP, my brother. <laughs> Let that sink in. And now is when I'm about to be like level 46, my brother, with a, with a, a flying mount that I unlocked finally. My goodness gracious. Took three hours to go from level 41 to 46 crazy granted i do want to point out that um you know grinding and leveling up took a lot uh more than normal because i literally had to um account for when i dismounted my mount to um to use my pet before i could actually start using my abilities but because i can use my ability right away as you guys can see um things go very much quicker so anyways um we got to level 46. I didn't even need to turn in the quest <laughs> to get to 46. So this is going to be like, you know, extra XPs as they say. And there you go. All right, cool. So now we got to go hunt Rokos. So I'm going to go do that. I will let you guys know when I'm there. Um, he's not really that hidden. I have searched up to see like where exactly he's at. You guys will see it. He's not hidden at all. Might as well just show you on the map while I go back over there. Um, Right, because I think like the hideout is like somewhere around here. Or actually, never mind. It's it's, it's over here, right? So we we're close by to it already. So I'm gonna go over this. This is why I love having a flying mount, bro. Like this just makes the game so easy. Um, and I think this guy is literally gonna be somewhere around here. And an archer, bro. I hate this area with a passion too, brother. Yeah, this is him right over here. Okay, so that's Roko's guys. Um, just wanted. To, well, I'd rather just show you on the map so you know exactly where he's at. There he is. He's literally over here on this side to the Umbral George. So we're going to skydive over there. Use that. He blocked my attack. Okay. So he's a regular NPC. I mean, he is a boss, technically speaking. But as you guys can see, um, he doesn't have a boss HP to him. So he's not really that difficult. But man, I'm telling you, I feel so alleviated now that we... <laughs> We got this mount, bro. Like, oh my God. I feel like I don't have to like, just have the burden of like accounting for freaking summoning a pet every time I'm on the floor. I mean, it's useful to have this little guy cause he boosts my magic damage output as well. As you guys can see over here. Um, but it's just nice to know that I don't have to have like an actual mountable pet that I need to grind for to get XP. Anyways, apparently we got to go to the tree right now. So let's interact with it. Uh, hello, is someone there? The air around you shimmers with energy as you near the eternal tree. The orbs in your possession pulsate in response. As you focus on the orbs in the tree, a voice, ancient and ethereal, fills your mind. Orbs? Barrels. <laughs> it whispers, the words echoing like a breeze through falling leaves. Orbs and barrels? Uh -huh. Alright, gang, can you stop, please? Dude, where the heck are all these NPCs coming from, bro? Like, I don't understand. Anyways, um, look, they literally keep coming. Pause. Like, what the hell is going on? Is this supposed to be because of the quest, or is this normal? Okay, we gotta talk to the first barrel. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to what they say, so it, I, whatever, it should be fine. And this is the last orb. So we gotta touch the markings on the eternal tree now. I remember you, Seeker. Your path has brought you back. Use our time wisely, for it is short. What do you seek? Who are you? In the era before the divas departed, one chose to leave a part of himself. He created me from a single seed imbued in his essence, or with his essence. I'm a fragment of Elaine. His voice is in this world now. Can you uh, tell me about the past? That knowledge lies beyond my reach. Not all wisdom was shared with me, yet the path you walk shall eventually lead you to clarity. Be cautious, Seeker. There are those whose kindness is but a mask. Oh, okay, who are they? My presence fades, Seeker. I can offer one last piece of guidance. Choose wisely. Where can I find an echo? You seek what was hidden for the select. You shall find what you are looking for beneath the ruins where silence looms. 
Oh, I gotta return April. Is that, is that the catacombs? Because I have yet to visit the catacombs on video. I do know where it's at. Uh, we activated a wave zone for it um, in another video. Um, and to be honest, I was under the impression that I was like end game, like end game, end game. Like once you're level 50, you go over there. But I don't know. Maybe the story takes you through the catacombs. But yeah, man, like I'm telling you guys, if you're going to play this game, uh, it's going to be very annoying, but well worth it. Get a flying mount and level it up. Like, bro, this, this makes traveling so much easier. All right. Uh, April, I need to share something important. What is it? You look like you've seen a ghost. I tell her what happened. That's astonishing. The tree is a part of a lane. This changes everything. Yeah, the tree gave me a clue. Do you understand its meaning? Beneath the ruins were silent slums. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Ah, now I see. A land that once blossomed fell to corruption. Its ruins swallowed by nature, leaving no trace of the wilderness. What, so where is this place? The Ambound Wilds. Not many know about its history. There's a man, guy. I mean, what? There's a man guy. Is it, okay, Naruto, my guy, I don't know. Uh, who's been living off the grid there? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll go there, no worries. So that is not the catacombs. That area is literally over here. I have been to the Ambound Wilds because there's a lot of uh, emeraldite that you can actually collect and uh, mine over there. So it's, it's a pretty decent area. Uh, let's talk to uh, this guy over here. Okay, and I and I get okay, All right. I get randomly attacked by a troll. Phenomenal game experience. Phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, good. I got attacked by another troll. I think. Yes, I did. <laughs> Dude, what is going on in this video, bro? Guy, what's up? Who are you? What's your business here? Okay, do you know this place history? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. What's it to you? I need your assistance, fam. Hold it right there. I don't know you, and I'm not in the habit of aiding strangers with their quest. You're uh, injured, brother. What happened? It's nothing. A bloody stakato got me. Those creatures are faster than they look. Let me help you with that wound, brother. Help? <laughs> you think you can? The only thing that'll fix this is a vial of st stakato venom mixed with certain herbs. Okay. All right. Whoa. Oh my God. All right. We gotta collect a whole bunch of stuff now. All right. Well, let's uh, let's attack these new mob types, which, for whatever reason, they're very spaced out over here. They're they're not really clustered together, as you guys can tell. Um, I think the best I'm gonna be able to do is are are these four over here. Yeah. Seems about it. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Very nice. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Oh, actually, to be honest, I think that amber stone is also over here as well. Um, which I think is this right here. Yeah. Oh well, amber, ember, whatever. Ember stone, amber stone, whatever. Um oh they have another cluster of NPCs over here, guys. So okay. Maybe this might not take as long as I thought it would take. Yeah, because this is a bunch of guys. Look at this. This is a bunch of dudes here. Alright. There we go, baby. There we go. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. This quest is taking a little bit longer than expected just because of these flame clash uh, stockatoes or whatever. There's only one that I'm seeing that spawns. I'm trying to find if there's others that spawn. But uh, yeah, I've only seen one, guys, and it's very frustrating because he doesn't spawn quickly. Oh, actually, I see two now. Yeah, I don't really know. Like. You see, you see a lot of the, the blood clash ones, but not the flame clash. All right, guys, after what feels like 50 million years later, um, there you go, we finally got the quest done. So let's go turn this bad boy in. Uh, actually, never mind. We got to get some ruby berries now, which are extremely, oh wait, actually they're not that far away, but they do have, uh, these troll guys around here. So gotta be careful here. Let me just aggro them so that they jump down. There you go. All right, lit. So we got that done with the ruby berries. And then now we just got to talk to this guy, Guy. All right, what's up, brethren? I've got the antidote. You tackle Scottsdale? Scott Stockatoes. Oh my God, I can't freaking pronounce that. But um, more than one, that's impressive. All right. Ah, that's better already. Thank you. Didn't expect such kindness from a passerby. All right. I was a bit harsh earlier. Not used to socializing much, unfortunately, but I'm willing to help if I can. 
So I gotta share the clue that I have with him. Beneath the ruins were the blah 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 blah. Hmm, this area was once in ruins. There's only one place beneath it. And what's that place? Oh my god. Alright, so I was right. It is the catacombs that we gotta go to. Alright, so I gotta go there. And uh, now I gotta return back to April. I hope because I heard that there's a boss in the catacombs. I hope that um this quest doesn't require me to kill that boss because i think that boss is like level 52 50 something i don't know but yeah uh we shall see i gotta go back to april april what's up baby uh tell her about the catacombs the catacombs that's troubling they're among verda's most perilous places i've only heard rumors of the dangers lurking within never knew their exact location i need to find answers i understand but please keep yourself uh safe excuse me all right, uh, we're going to ask about the prophecy, and we're going to listen to it. It says, in an era shadowed by conflict, a unique soul challenge emerge. I mean, a unique soul shall emerge, aligned with the heartbeat of the world itself. This seeker, destined to traverse the lands, will be drawn to ancient relics that hold the power that uh, to mend the rifts between peoples. They are not alone in their quest. Others, too, are drawn by the call of destiny. These artifacts, once united, possess the power to summon the diva of their allegiance. Yet such power demands a choice to unite and heal or to be swayed by strength and stray. The impact of this choice will resound through history. Okay. Apparently there's other people like us on this journey and blah, 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 blah. All right. So we got to look for clues in the catacombs. All right. So I believe the catacombs... Cause I, I think I passed by the entrance. Um, the waterfall is like up here, I think. Right? Um, no, actually. Okay. Well, I don't know. It's, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> Let me check the map actually. Cause the map. Oh, it's. I'm going the wrong way. I was actually going in the opposite. Oh, it actually tells you exactly where you need to go. I'm blind. All right. Well. So much for uh, venturing and exploring and trying to figure out where the kettle comes at, brother. They actually tell you. Okay. Oh my God. It has a freaking dragon skull in there. Okay. Dude, and the inside of this place, I think, I don't know. It reminds me of um, this one like area. Oh, you auto PVP enable in this area, I guess. But yeah, it reminds me of this one area in, in RuneScape. Um, where it's like the tomb of something. I don't know. Yo, and, am, I, am I strong enough to like gather these guys around and stuff or, or not? I mean, I guess we'll find out, right? All right, gang. Y'all ready for this? Let's see. Oof. I actually do. Oof. I do do big boy damage. All right. So, I mean, I, I messed that up, but I can actually kill these guys pretty quickly. What the hell? I should have been grinding here. <laughs> I should have been grinding here instead of, like, having a headache with all the other NPCs I was grinding on. Oh, and I think that might be the amber stone, actually. That I, I don't know. We'll see. Let me get all these guys together real quick, though. All right, so I got him killed off that time in one hit. These guys, yo, they drop mad loot and they give you like 500 XP, bro. What the hell? I should have been grinding here, dude. Ah, uh, well, whatever. It's better late than never, right? By the way, we have a new season pass item that we can get. Um, there you go. Oh, I also got this. I've got to show you on camera, but um, this bear grants us increased max health and provides healing over time. So he's pretty cool. Um, he's over here. Forgot to even mention it. And yeah, this is the amber uh, stone. So I don't know what that other item thing was. Ember, whatever the hell that's called. Um, in the area that we were at, right? In the uh, in the ant bound, um, ant bound wilds, excuse me, because we're in the catacombs right now. So, but yeah, this area is really good for XP. Like really, really, really good for XP. And I'm surprised we can kill these guys so quickly. And look, this should do a good amount of damage as well. Yep. As you guys can see. Yeah, bro. All right. Okay. Oh, and these guys drop gemstones too. Ooh. Okay. Let me let me go ahead and uh yeah, let me let me spend uh 250 Robux. I'm not I don't want to spend my essence to buy these other slots and stuff. But all right, anyway. Um I think these guys are gonna drop good loot for us. So we touched the tome. Ah, seeker of the echo courts. Your quest edges closer to its end. So where is it? The restless dead wonder where they sh should not guide them back blah 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 okay i'll do what must be done my brother so i gotta literally kill a bunch of these guys holy days all right i mean i guess gang i have a feeling at the very end of this all it's gonna tell me uh, to kill that 
big boss in here and i i don't know if i'll be able to do it but oh and i just died <laughs> but i shall try my brother i shall try all right guys we got the quest done i'm gonna turn into the tome here uh a gem emerges from the tome okay there you go we gotta talk to muriel now my dear goodness gracious, bro. This storyline has us going all over the goddamn place right now. All right, guys, here we go. I found the Echo Quartz. Well, I'll be. You've outdone yourself, boyo. Let's have a look at it then. All right, hand it over. A fine addition to our growing collection. You've come far, but there's more to do, isn't there? Uh, what about the Dream Weave? The Dream Weave is... Oh, who am I kidding? You really thought this old crone had it in her to guide you? Uh, what? Oh, there's nothing wrong with her. She'll recover once I exit her body. You, however, have played right into my hands. Oh, God. All right, draw her a weapon. <laughs> Go ahead, draw your little weapon. It won't do you any good against me. You can't harm me. Not while I wear this face. You've been a helpful tool seeker, but now our paths diverge. The dream weave awaits me, not you. Please just listen. What's this? Where am I? I mean, oh, wait, this is her again. Uh, well, what's this? Where am I? Yuggling, what are you waving that weapon around for? Okay, apparently this is Muriel. Of course it's me, you dope, but who are you? You don't remember anything? Remember? All I remember is wanting a nap. <laughs> this is old ass woman, bro. I swear to you, bro. Okay, now we gotta go seek uh, Vorgash's guidance. Muriel played it like your typical old woman, brother. Crazy to me. All right, let's talk to Gangatron, see what's up with him. Ah, oh, it's been a while. How have you been? Okay, tell him what happened. Unbelievable. Such powerful magic at play here. Not many in these parts can wield such spells. So any idea who it could be? It's beyond my ken. But there's one who might shed light on this. The strongest mage I know. Oh, isn't, isn't that Zoran? Okay, well, who? He says, Arendelle. He's forsaken the surface for the catacombs. Oh god, alright, so he's in the catacombs. Yes, amidst the shadows and the silence, his quest for power has made him indifferent. Okay, alright, we gotta go talk to this dude. If we can even talk to him, because... I mean, I did stumble across, uh, upon, excuse me, a couple of NPCs in the catacombs, but that area is... Uh, man, filled with, like, spiders, these, like, big orb type enemies like oh my god it's 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 frustrating obviously i just need better gear but the thing is that i'm just now getting to the catacombs and the catacombs is what gives us the crafting materials to make better gear you know what i mean also i didn't show it on camera but th there are a lot of douchebags in this catacombs area bro like believe me i i died my fair share to people coming down here and just attacking me for no apparent reason at all but anyhow um, here's the person that we got to talk to, and, um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if we can get this done, because like I said, these, uh, these spiders are not the easiest to combat. I mean, we're doing pretty good, though. Alright, 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 watch me clear. Okay, okay, okay. Are you dead? Yes, sir, you're dead, brother. Give me that. Alright, what's up, gang? Are you Arundel? Well, actually, let me just, like, get through this. You guys can pause, you know what I mean? But I, I'm afraid that, like, <laughs> something will attack me while I'm talking to him, and then I'm not going to be able to complete this. Okay, this guy is telling us about fighting a boss or something, so we got to prove him, uh, prove ourselves to him. So now we have to, like, kill a bunch of spiders, more skeleton generals, air warlords. Uh, I... I'm, I'm done with the grind, guys. I've been playing this game for over five hours today. I, I, I'm just so over it, bro.